Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Willow for the NES. And yeah, for anybody wondering, Bonga, you already did a Let's Play of Willow on your channel. That was the arcade version, which was a side-scrolling adventure game. This, however, while based on the same movie, is a completely different game. And for anybody that's played this game before, you know exactly what kind it is. It's kind of like Zelda, to an extent. This is a pretty intense opener for an 8-bit game, I must say. The people were living peacefully, protected by a great magic. Mavmorda, the messenger of the skies, became greedy for power. In arrogance, she decided to conquer the world with her magic. Of course he would. Ben Raziel, the messenger of the Earth, realized her plot. And tried to persuade Batmorda to return to the skies. But her magic was sealed and she was turned into an opossum by Batmorda's wicked magic. Batmorda declared herself queen of the world. And she hasn't gotten any teeth yet. And started to build up her strength to rule the world. That's a little loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, yep, it is kind of like Zelda. You get your HP and your MP right there, and your experience. Oh, my dear Willow. If you get tired during your trip, come back here. You will be able to regain your strength. Before you begin your trip, you should talk to your neighbor, the High Aldwin. Be careful. Okay, I'm gone. So A and B currently do nothing. You can press start to go into your inventory, which obviously we don't have anything. But hopefully we will later. And I'm noticing select does nothing as well. Okay. Oh, Willow, Nelwyn's Man of Prophecy. Take these magic acorns with you. They can turn anything to stone so it can't move. You have the magic acorns. Yay. And I actually get MP for once. If you come back here during your trip, I will recharge your magical powers. Okay, well that's a good base of operations. But we still need some equipment. I'm sure we can find some in town before we go. Hey. Did you meet Vonkar, the best swordsman in the village? He should be preparing the finest weapons for you. Weapons? As in I should be getting more than one, is that correct? So I did play this game before, like maybe for an hour, and then I just stopped because I had other things to do. But what I have played was pretty good. Hey, they're not Tim Curry. No, seriously, that's not Tim Curry. <laughs> Even though it looks like him. Welcome, Willow. My name is Vonkar. Please take this long sword. You have the long sword! Exclamation point. It may be heavy and hard to use at first, but you should get used to it after a few fights. So that's basically what they mean by that is, you do have a level up system, that much is for certain, and how this works is, as you gain levels, certain weapons will actually get easier to use. When you get like a really good weapon, your attacks are going to be very slow until you start gaining more levels and they get quicker. You should be able to get to the village of Dew if you keep going north on this road. Unfortunately, it's not on a mountain, so we can't make a joke about it. All right, so you press B to use your sword for anybody that's wondering. If you stand perfectly still, you just do a swing. And if you're walking forward, you do a stab. 
You can tell if there's actual enemies just by the fact that the, uh, the grass is blowing. Which is a little distracting, because I mean, I can tell there are enemies by just looking at them. How much more experience do I need before I level up? Okay, 80 more points. Which is really 8 more slimes. At least my stab is pretty quick. So there's that. Away from you, damn skulls! Okay, I'm hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Hope I can level up soon. Up! That was dumb. Level up! Uh, this is a problem. I still need to get to the village, and I'm like. I only have eight hit points left. Okay, I think this is the village. So I just gotta find a good place to rest. Well, this house looks nice. It's got a fence. Hey. So, you have come from Nelwyn. Please rest as long as you need to. Ah, oh, that's much better. Okay, I was needing to go to do, but I wonder what I can get there. Let's go find out. Anything in here? It looks like nobody's around. And see, we're an actual hero, but we don't break into people's houses and take their things. Like, yeah, we'll walk into places, but we'll leave. Because we know better. I have heard that Bogarda is the father of the chief of this village. And he was changed into a demon by the wicked magic of Babmorda. Hey, it looks like you could use this shield. I just figured I'd change the subject about what's going on. Would you like a shield? You should hear the story from the village chief. Okay, I just gotta find where he lives. But more importantly, I should equip the shield. Wait. Okay, so I actually got some defense points now. That's, that's good. <laughs> Shields are pretty much the only way you can get defense in this game. Like, there's no actual armor. If you go west from here, you will see a road that goes through the Rock Mountain. As you go further, you will find the entrance to the cave. Sometimes you can hear a weird voice from inside. Uh, should I bother with that? You know, I should probably do that. Screw it, let's just head on and check it out. Oh, not this way. I should take the bottom road. Just for kicks and giggles. Let's go investigate this cave. Seems alright so far. No actual issues. Oh god! What the hell? Yeah, I guess I was not ready to fight them. And there are monsters inside the cave, too. I have to keep my eyes peeled. Make sure that I don't actually peel my eyes. You have the small shield! That's all that cave was, just to get a shield? It is a strong shield made of metal! Okay. Alright, how strong are we talking? So my defense at 7 now. Oh my god, it goes up to 16! Oh, and I don't even have this equipped. 
I should have that equipped. So I guess magic is tied to the A button. Ow. Oh jeez, Louise. I better be extra careful and get out of here before I die. So I'm probably still one or two hits away from death. Oh, so it seems like the monsters don't always pop from the same screen. Okay. So if I feel an encounter is going to get too rough, I can leave the area, come back, see if it's still there. That's good to know. So all I did that for was just to get a shield. Which I'm not complaining because it's a good shield. I could really increase my defense. I think that Bogarda lives in the forest north of this village. Okay, but where is the chief? Where does the chief live? In here? Please bring peace back to this village of Do. Don't worry, I will do it for you. This house looks a bit bigger. Maybe this is the spot? The story of Bogarda is true. My father was a courageous and just person before being put under such wicked magic. The villagers have been put through such misery. I will give you this magic heal mace. This is a valued treasure of this village, and is a symbol of a spirit protecting us. When you are tired from fighting, just clutch the heel mace tightly, and say the magic word, and you will regain your strength. Oh, so this is healing magic! Alright! Could have used that in the cave from before, but I somehow survived. <laughs> well, I guess I can always go back to the rest house. Over there in the corner. I think that would be a wise idea. Before I go out to the forest. So you have come from- Yeah, I know. I- I- you, you know me. I've been here before. Okay, so now let's go to the forest. <laughs> I guess I wasn't supposed to go to that cave to get that shield until later. Like, I was supposed to progress the story, but I kind of skipped it. Like, oh, screw it. I'll give it a try. And lo and behold, it worked. I did not die. <laughs> so I take, like, four damage from these skulls each time. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even get to kill it, it just ran away. God dang it. Let's try going down. So I saw another path to the left. Can you get a little bit closer, like in range? I would like to kill this thing if I can. I think it's stuck! I don't think I can reach! Huh. That's funny. Come on. Inch over this way. Come on, do it. I believe in you. You're not fine. Screw it. You're not worth my time. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I think he just got stuck and just broke out. Like, what was that all about? Oh, damn, that costs a lot of MP to use. Yeah, it's just kind of clipped through. What the frick? Oh, you can actually use the shield to block attacks. Okay, I... I guess it works pretty well, as long as you're 
standing still. I can't even cast it anymore. I can only cast it once. Hold on, how much more do I need to level up? I need 60 more points. I don't know, maybe I should try the cave when I'm at level 3. God damn it! I, can I, like, go a section without getting hit? It's, it's impossible for me to do now. Oh, the, the smaller slimes actually don't give you experience? That's lame. We gotta go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing this quite a bit until I'm at a competent level. And just stop taking hits from everything. So it's not like I have a long range attack. In fact, I don't even know if you get one in the game outside of magic. Because right now I don't have enough MP to cast this healing spell more than one time. That doesn't really bode well for me. It's a good thing I did get the shield after all. <laughs> okay, let's try this again with feeling. I only need to kill, what, on average, eight more enemies? Level up! Okay, never mind, it was less than that. Now look how fast I swing this blade. Now we're talking. Now we got some serious power. It's still nudged into me. God dang it. I'm gonna break through. See? It just skips, like, so many parts of the level! And just hits me instantly! Oh, I was still in the swing animation. Okay, there we go. I think I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh yeah, spawn right on top of me, why don't ya? Skulls. That's why your your heads don't have flesh anymore, because you're stupid. Oh god, that thing is back? Okay, at least it's a much better screen to fight this thing. Because it doesn't get stuck on the top part of the screen. And then just like skip a whole lot of movement. So my experience level is at 440. 460, so I'm only getting 20 points from them. You have the gold statue! Okay, if I remember correctly, you need that to get to the first cave. The first actual cave. It is a golden image of a human face. You have the light of life. Hey! And I get instant healing from that. That works for me! So what was down here, anyway? Nothing! It was a dead end. You know what I wish the select button was for? A map. Like, to keep you from getting lost. There we go. I'll just retrace my steps. What do I need to get to level 4? 
710 experience. Hey, come at me. Yeah! I showed you how it's done. Goodbye. <laughs> So I gotta go find this cave next. Actually, I should go to the village just so I can get all my MP back. I might be able to cast Heal Maze more than one time. At least I like to think I can. I like to think it'll be possible. Okay, these guys are actually pretty easy to deal with if you just try to slash at them right away. They don't charge at you until, like, later? So you can just take all your pot shots then. I mean, at least I'm thankful it's, the forest is not that far from the village. So yeah, once again, like, I know people have been clamoring for me to see the movie, which I still haven't seen. I don't know, I just don't usually see it that often on TV. But then again, I don't watch a lot of TV. And I don't think this movie's on Netflix. I could be wrong, though. Alright, so I can cast Heal Mace twice. Without needing to recharge. One thing I just noticed, there's, there's no money in this game. So there's no shop. No shop means I can't really buy any consumables, because maybe there aren't consumables. So it is kind of like Zelda, but it's a more simplified version of it, in my opinion. It's like if Capcom did a Zelda. And so far it is pretty good. God, these are new enemies. And I couldn't kill a single one. Damn it. I still got hit. Hey. Bogarda is in this cave. As soon as you hand over the gold statue, you must return here. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, I will go. That's what you need the statue for, to get into the cave at all. Alright, so this is the first actual dungeon you gotta go through. Which is devoid of a lot of activity so far. I leveled up. Get wrecked. Right, let's see what's in this next room. What the hell was that noise? I just heard something. Oh, that's a dead end! So I wasn't supposed to go here. Okay, are these bats just, like, combining into, like, bigger bats? I think that's what they are. Oh my god, the next level's 2,000? <coughs> that's a huge leap. I think we're gonna be stuck on level 4 for a long time. Much to my dismay. So this way was pretty much- Ah! What the hell? You just spawned like just mere pixels from my face. How else was I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go this way. I 
I don't know if this is the right place to go, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, no more wasps, please. I don't need any more wasps in my life. Or if you're gonna make them spawn, at least a few feet from my face. Hold on, I think this is the boss area. I don't want to go there yet. So I pretty much skipped every optional thing you can get. I don't want to do that. Let, let's go back. And this is why I wish I had a map. <laughs> oh, bro, now there's two wasps. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Music's actually pretty good. Very simple, but still good. I did not get hit, did I? I don't think... No, I didn't get hit. You have the Battle Sword! It is a solid and fairly heavy sword. You have the Light of... Ooh! Free healing! Hells yeah! And I got a new weapon. Okay, so I go from 9 strength to... Whoa, 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 whoa. 23. It's a little bit slower, but it's still a good weapon. Actually, no, I think I came from that way before. And I decided to go down. Oh yeah, now I can just slaughter enemies a lot easier. I think that way leads to the boss. What if I try it this way? I think this leads to another path. Oh god, four wasps. The game can't even handle loading them all. It dropped like 30 experience each, so that's nice. So that's like 120 experience room right there. Uh, I don't think I should fight that. That definitely looks like a zombie, and zombies are bad news. Okay, hopefully this room has something good for me. Now it's got something. You have the ring! When you wear it, your strength increases. Like, automatically? Oh, it definitely did go up. Because it was in the 20s last time, and now it's in the 30s. And the items are automatically used. Now we got some serious power to our name. You know what? I think we should be ready to face the boss now. Oh, now the big bats take two hits to die. Oh, I didn't mean to go all the way over there. I was just pushed back. So now I gotta retrace my steps to get back to where I fought the boss. Or as I was supposed to fight the boss. I know I gotta keep going down and right. So I just gotta find the correct spot. The thing was over here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I recognize this bend. back away from me. Thank you. I don't want 
bunch of stingers in my life. Ever. Oh, pfft. Oh, I actually want to go in there this time. Hey. So it is you! The youngster with the gold statue! What? You won't give me the statue? <laughs> Do you intend to oppose me? You pitiful creature! Oh, okay. Okay, he likes to throw the axe like a boomerang. So depending on where you are, you can get quite a few hits. Like that, see? Just make sure he throws the weapon and then you can go for the kill. Oh, where am I? Oh yes, I remember now. Please fight for peace. I will teach you the magic of flowing fire. It should be of help to you. Oh, so I have a fire spell now. If you want to know more about Queen Babmorda, go and talk to Cherlindria, the fairy who lives west of the village of Dew, in Legendary Lake Chief. Oh, so I don't just warp out of there? I, I have to walk out myself? Okay. Oh, damn, I just noticed I have 1900 experience now. That boss gave me quite a bit. Alright, so I'm gonna test out the new magic. It doesn't tell you how much it costs until you use it. So I got 68 MP now. Oh, it just creates like a, a ring around you. And it costs like 5 MP. That's not, not, not bad, actually, for a spell that actually... Sticks around a long time. Of course, enemies can just bypass it, which is annoying. But it's still really good. And now we're level 5. Wait, I opened up a chest that gave me a sword and healed me. I wanted to see if you could still get healed every time. But no, it doesn't work. Because then I would have just cheesed the game. And the game's not gonna let you do that. It's like, no. You have to work on your own merits now. Sorry. You actually have to be good at this game. Okay, so now we just gotta go all the way back to the village and then make it to the next area. Which, of course, is to the west. It's actually not a bad spell. Okay, 39.50 to level up again. Okay, then. I might have to consider, like, doing some experience grinding off-screen, but probably not try to gain too many levels. I can't guarantee I'll commit to that, though. Oh, you only get 20 experience a pop from these guys? They're a waste of time. Ho 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 holy crap. It really wrecks the skulls. You love to see it. I'm gonna go back to the chief. What thing is in this house? Yes. Oh, what a courageous young man! Thank you very much. Oh, okay. He doesn't have anything special for me? What the hell? Like, I rescued you guys. Completely. I mean, there's still the threat of Bath Morda, but I took care of the short-term stuff. Please rest here. By the way, have you heard about the dragon scales? It's said that they're proof of the fight between an adventurer 
and a vicious dragon called Matanda. I used to be a blacksmith in this village. Just once, I would like to make a magnificent sword with those scales. If you find them, please bring them to me. Okay. I'll do my best. I'll try to remember that. I guess it wouldn't hurt to actually start making some strides towards the next area. I mean, it's not like the uh, game world here is super large. Because I don't think it is. If you... Oh, okay, bye. Can I... Oh, I can't leave. You have to go through the whole dialogue. And there's no way to speed it up, by the way. Sorry, I guess you just gotta suck it up. That's it. Alright, so I believe we gotta go down, because west is just the cave. We don't need to go back there. Am I even hurting this enemy? I don't even think I'm hurting these guys. They're just taking no damage, what the frick? Yeah, that's a, that's a little mean. That's also pretty mean. They really love to put in those dead end pads. <laughs> of course they would. I guess I'll go left from the bottom way. Oh, these skulls are a different color. So, of course, they have a little bit more strength. Not that much more, though. Hey. I'm Chiel of the Nail Clan. Our village is in the forest near Lake Chief. When we went to the village of Du looking for food, Bogarda put a strange spell on the bridge so we could not get out. But thanks to you, it looks like we can finally return to our village. Thank you. So I couldn't even make it past this way until I defeated Bogarda. Okay. Oh my god, look at the wood! Why is it spin like that? I'm all aboard the Flubber Bridge. God damn. Like, I know what they were going for, but when you see the bridge doing that, it just looks too weird. Hey. We are Frangine and Rule of the Brownies Clan. Who are you? Who are you? You come to see the fairy Cherlindria? Ha ha ha! Cherlindria is the fairy of beautiful Lake Chief. She is. If you do what we say, we can tell you how to get to Lake Chief. We can. If you go north from here, through Death Forest, there is a cave where a dragon called Matanda lives. Defeat Matanda and bring the crystal ball of life back to us. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You're kind of leading me to my death, but sure, I'll do it. So I got dealt with like an axe throwing goblin, and now I gotta deal with a dragon? We gotta take gradual steps here. Oh, good lord. These trees are evil. Oh, there's a there's a house. Oh, thanks for the healing. What is this? Storming into someone's home unannounced? I figured I'd heal you first and then I'll admonish you. Wait, you're just in time. My darling pet has run off somewhere. <coughs> Won't you please find him? His name is Poe. He is really cute. 
You'll like them for sure. Hold on. Take these medicinal herbs in case he is hurt. Which is pretty sure that he's gonna be hurt. Take care! Okay, so I think there's a good ending point here. So in the next part, we gotta go into a cave to defeat Matanda, but we also gotta keep our eyes out for a pet named Poe. See everyone, thanks for watching.